All right, Danielle, thanks so much tonight for the first time. Parents charged for a mass shooting their son carried out are heading to prison. Jennifer and James Crumley, Ethan Crumley's parents were sentenced today in a courtroom in Michigan. The shooting happened at Oxford High School in 2021. Ethan shot 10 students and a teacher killing four of the students. Several parents of the victims gave emotional statements inside the courtroom. You have failed your son and you have failed us all and why you were running away from your son and your responsibilities. I was forced to do the worst possible thing a parent could do. I was forced to say goodbye to my Madison. Both James and Jennifer Crumbly have been sentenced to between 10 and 15 years in prison. Ethan Crumbly pleaded guilty and is serving a life sentence. This case raising a lot of questions on how to keep firearms out of reach and out of sight for children. Yeah, News 19's Lindsay Smith joins us live here in the studio tonight. Lindsay, you have more now on the importance of proper gun storage. That's right, Ben and Tamika. Here in Alabama, there is no law that imposes a penalty on someone who fails to secure an unattended firearm and leaves it accessible to an unsupervised minor. But gun owners can still take steps to make their homes and communities safer by storing their guns securely. Now, if you own a gun, it's recommended that you keep it locked up and unloaded. Be sure to store your ammunition separately and keep that ammunition locked up too bullet and barrel indoor shooting range and training facility. It's one of several gun shops here in the Huntsville metro area. They spent some time with me this afternoon explaining different ways one can safely store their guns. Right here, General Manager Lewis Southard is showing me how to use a cable lock. Now this cable lock, it prevents the firing of a firearm by someone who shouldn't be using it. Southern also says gun owners can purchase a lockbox or gun safe. Keeping it locked up is the best way to make sure hands that don't need to get on them stay off of them. And, you know, whether it's a young person or someone who's not allowed to be around firearms, nothing replaces locking them up. Southard says a lockbox or gun safe ranges in price anywhere from 50 to $1,000. He also says it's important to understand proper storage techniques. An Alabama lawmaker actually filed a bill last year in March that would require parents and guardians to secure their firearms and subject them to felony charges if their child brought a gun to a public school. That bill was killed last May. Ben. Lindsay, thanks so much. One year later, the 